Welcome. Coverage continues tonight with CBS 12's Mike Magnoli live in Boca Raton. Mike, you just spoke with the spokesperson for the Council on America, American Islamic Relations, correct? And John, it was a candid conversation about reaction, religion, and rejecting this suspect, saying he is not a true Muslim. This is a. Uh, uh... Uh, an attack against us as well. Wilfredo Ruiz is head of communications for CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. During our interview, he pointed out to me that he wore the uniform of the United States Navy, that he and his family are regular cyclists, so he is disgusted and hurt that a bike path was targeted. And he says the Islamic Americans he knows are outraged by Tuesday's truck attack in New York City. These type of crimes uh, bring them to our mind Charlottesville. These type of crimes bring to our mind Las Vegas. And then when the perpetrator is a Muslim, there is a deep inquiry as to his customs or where he or who was associated, that he was a Muslim. And that is very worrisome. So much so, Ruiz says when news broke there had been an attack, he and friends and loved ones prayed the driver was not a Muslim. Because we know that is that will determine how our community is going to be treated and all the, another time being a stereotype. Omar Mateen, the 9-11 hijackers getting their flight training in Florida. I asked CARE, even though these are Florida cases that are not tied together necessarily, does the Muslim community acknowledge that that is concerning? And he said yes but they reject those extremists, his word. He says they do not represent true Islam. I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News.